I'm Hideo Mabuchi. I'm a professor of applied physics and a ceramist. My group's research over the past couple of decades has really been on what I would call the foundations of quantum engineering. That interest, I would say, kind of developed over the years. It just turned out to be a lot of very interesting conceptual connections between how engineers think about systems versus how we were learning to think about them in the quantum microscopic world. I first got interested in ceramics actually through collecting ceramics. I grew up in a Japanese-American household, so I think there was all, always a lot of fine craft around. Some time ago I thought it would be really fun to just try making something. It was almost sort of a whim, but I got really hooked on it. When you're throwing on a wheel, say, it's something where you really have to be in the moment. You know, you can't be thinking about other stuff while you're doing it. You really just have to be paying attention to what the clay is doing and responding to it. At the end of the day, the work that you make, it's always this interesting balance between things that you're personally looking to express and also just drawing out the material qualities of the clay. Ceramics is also a very technical field, and so I think that appeals to me as, a, as somebody with a scientific background. And that turned out to be a reason to learn about a whole bunch of chemistry and material science and also geology in terms of learning where clay comes from that I don't think I ever would have been interested in otherwise. Fiber art's kind of a new thing for me. If you have at all a mathematical background, weaving is something that really makes a lot of sense. It's kind of fun to think about. Clay likes to go up. Clay doesn't really like to go out. And so I think the idea of combining ceramics and, and, and fiber, that really gives you new options in terms of the kinds of pieces that, that you might make. I think at the end of the day, there's not really a lot of difference between what I'm interested in in science and what I'm interested in in art. I mean, I think in both of those spheres, what I get excited about is finding unexpected connections between things that seem very disparate. You know, that's the kind of thing that you can investigate at a scientific level or at an artistic level. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.